Hi Scorpio, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. We are taking a look at your mid-December 2023 reading. Seeing um, what's going on mid-month. Let's see, what does Scorpio need to know at this particular time? What messages are coming through for my wonderful Scorpios? Let me know where you're tuning in from, by the way. What city, state, country, Scorpio are you tuning in from? Love seeing where you guys are representing. As always, I have the cards pre-shuffled and cleansed, but I like to go through them one last time just to see what jumpers we have coming through. Anything that you need to know. Let's let's take a look. What's coming through? Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles. We're looking at Empress, Six of Cups, the World. Ooh. Ace of Cups. Okay. Seven of Pentacles, as we begin here. Something that you have been waiting for for quite some time. You're starting to see it develop, grow, blossom, come together. Now, for some of you Scorpios, it does look like love is on the rise, all right? Uh, it does look like someone is growing strong feelings for you. For some of you, you may not even be aware of this. You may not be even aware that there is someone in your social circle or in your group that has... I feel like they've liked you for a long time or they've admired you for some quite um, for quite some time. Oh, excuse my puppy. <laughs> she, she probably hears um, the, the mailman. Um, let me see, Scorpio, what's coming through here for you? Ooh, we have the three of swords. Okay, hold on. Let me grab my little puppy. Um, hold on. Hold on, Scorpio. Let me. I don't want to break my, my concentration. Scorpios. Hello. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I, I, I feel like someone here is developing feelings for you. For others, for others, all right, you may have felt like you were not going to heal, move on, or recover for something because it has taken a long time. This can be emotionally, for some of you, it could be financially, um, but it really just, it taps into your expectations. You were waiting a long time for something to, you know, develop into something much better. And it was frustrating for you because you didn't think it was happening uh, in the time that you had expected. But as we look, following the Empress, we start to see developments happening here for you, Scorpio. So aside from love, these developments could be something that you were just hoping would produce fruits in your um, expected time, you know, business, social connections. It could be advancements with your career. It could also be some type of physical transformation too, all right, something physically. Um, but we start to see, we start to see the seed is blooming blossoming flourishing here for you again took you a while but some emotionally you're, you're gonna see the rewards are paying off for you your loyalty is going to um you're gonna have something to show for that okay now don't be surprised in the next two to four weeks you start to see events coming together well, you're gonna have to keep up, okay? It's almost like a garden. <laughs> you, it takes a while for the garden to develop, but once that seed has started to sprout, rapid growth starts to happen, and then you have to keep up with watering it, pruning it, fertilizing it, right? There's something here, it's like, okay, it's like you asked for more business, you asked for you know some type of love, you asked for some advancement, it's like, okay, keep up, keep up, because you, you know, you're gonna go through it in a good way. 
in a good way that it's changing and transforming you. Emotionally, I see a lot of happiness and excitement coming your way. A lot of you too, you're going to see that there's this inner, inner strength, inner belief, inner love, self-love being uh, unlocked, engaged, connected. Socially too, I see you cutting off people that may have tried to consume you in a way where they were not giving back. They were just take, 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 taking from you. And Scorpio, you're like, no more. You know, you, you're you no longer allowing people to have access to you that are not worthy or deserving of that. And when I say access, it can be love, but it could also be advice that you offer, your time, your energy, your skills. The queen has her hand over the cup. She's saying no more unless you are worthy, unless I give you access, okay, unless we see eye to eye. Not anyone's just gonna drink out, drink out of the cup, okay? You're gonna share it mindfully and respectfully. Just because they're thirsty doesn't mean they can drink from your cup, right, Scorpio? Just because you have the abundance of water, it's like, okay, but it's not up to you to be the water supplier for them. They have to earn that, metaphorically speaking. Let's take a look. Your bottom row, Knight of Swords, Two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles coming in. Mm. This is a time in your life where a lot of you, you're not you're not afraid to cut off maybe relationships or connections that you've developed and, um, and that you've been fostering for a long time. You know, I think about like friendships or relationships or maybe even partnerships. I see there could be some type of disagreement, bickering or fighting where enough is enough and you're just like, that's it, I don't care, I don't need you, I'm gonna separate and depart from this. I you know, don't need this in my life. You're setting strong boundaries for yourself, Scorpio, and you're like, okay, you know, yeah, we may be family or yeah, we may have been together for a long time. Yeah, we may have worked together for a long time or we've known each other since childhood. But there's something here that you don't even care. I, there's some type of impulsive decision. Not that it's wrong or right. It's just it is what it is. And Scorpio, you are very like emotional. <laughs> okay, you're water saying you're emotional. So I, I feel like this is something that you may have thought you, you, you thought out for some time and now you're acting upon it. And you're like, you know what? I'm going with it. There's something here that you're acting out on. Like lashing out or acting out or speaking out. I see advancements. The the two of wands. We see some gateway opening up for you. Future planning. Thoughts for a new direction here for you, Scorpio. We also see that uh, there's progress happening. All right. You discovering there's a new way, an alternative path, a new direction. Um, also on your way up to success. Fulfilling your path of your dreams discovering that there is um you know bigger goals that you have for yourself bigger things that you want to do and that you want to achieve as we look at expansion nine of pentacles six of swords in your situation a lot of you you're moving and you're drifting towards where the grass is greener the nine of pentacles and i've been saying this lately and she has been appearing all throughout december all throughout December, especially for my water signs. I think she appeared a lot <laughs> for um, Pisces too. And now for you, Scorpio, feel free to use this affirmation. But the best way to remember the Nine of Pentacles is that she is blessed, not stressed. Okay? She taps into the blessings, not the stressings. Okay? <laughs> and what that means, the Nine of Pentacles, she does not worry about bills because she knows her bills are taken care of. She does not worry about her next meal because she knows she is fed. She does not have to worry about making connections or interactions because she knows she brings and she attracts versus lacks. Okay? She attracts versus lacks. All right? So that's why we say tapping into blessings, no stressings, okay? She is blessed, not stressed. And ironically, maybe not ironically, it's paired with the Six of Swords. This card represents being stressed, but drifting away from the stress. So we could see this, um, 
we could see it as like a mom and a child, a sister and a sibling. Uh, it could just be someone that you're taking on with you too. Like, hey, we're in this together. Let's move away from this chaos, this stress, this drama, but let's move towards, look, there's growth here. See these flowers? Symbolically, it's showing that where you were at, there was no development, there was no growth, there was no future. And now where you are moving yourself towards Scorpio, you're seeing, hey, the grass is greener, there's growth, there's developments, there's abundance, there's more business, there's happiness, more free time, right? More blessings. So a lot of you are seeing that, hey, why stay in a place that is causing a lot of turmoil, uh, turmoil stress, high stress, I'm sensing too, anxiousness, depression. It's like, nope, let me get myself out of that environment and put myself in an environment where I can thrive, flourish, and succeed. A lot of you, you're really good at creating your own success too. Like you, meaning you don't need the help of other people. You're more than equipped and qualified to do something on your own. Now, yes, you do enjoy the company of other people, but the thing is you don't need other people to create your happiness, your value, or your worth. You are more than enough, Scorpio, okay? A lot of you too, you have like that entrepreneurial drive within you. I mean, as a water sign, you're very imaginative. You're very creative too. So if there's a, a will, there's a way. If there's a way, there's a will. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Swords. On that note, <laughs> I do see here a lot of you in this time. There's um, there's so much that you want to do. There's so much that has piqued your curiosity. But the choice that you're faced with is like where to start. <laughs> okay, where to start? What to uh, begin with? Because I see that you are a jack of all trades, but you feel like maybe you're a master of none for some of you, okay? It's like you have you have a lot of things that you want to dabble in, that you want to experience, that has piqued your curiosity. This could be jobs, skill sets, hobbies. It's like, dang, you wanna do everything. You wanna start on like 10 different books. You wanna draw 10 different paintings, right? It's like you wanna apply for like all these jobs, like where to start? You wanna work on 10 different business ideas. It's like where to start, right, Scorpio? Some of you, I feel like you are really good hustlers and grinders again you're multifaceted okay my water signs you can flow and blend in and do things and adapt very very well uh in a way where you can thrive but i see that a lot of you you're wanting to kind of hone in on one thing and you want to be a master of some type of trade you want to be known as you know a particular artist in that particular industry or a particular um experienced professional in that field so moving into 2024 I do see that there's some weighing out of okay what should I choose where should I direct my professionalism or my expertise in and the thing about the two of swords this is also a reminder to reflect inwardly sometimes when all of the options look good tap into your instincts Intuitively, uh, Scorpio, where do you see yourself going far in your path? Okay, because I do see that there is one that you can see yourself doing for a while, that you can stick with for a while, that you can dedicate yourself with for the long haul. And that may be where you find your, your lead or your answer. Speaking of lead or long haul, for those that are looking for new love or finding yourself dating, the next person that you come across, I see there's some type of commitment coming in. You are going to find yourself, you know, strongly wrapped up in this person. Um, I feel like you guys complement each other too on an emotional level and on a physical level, all right? You guys have a lot in, in common and in interests. This person keeps you grounded. You keep them grounded. Um, there's commitment you're gonna be seeing this person for a while and this person's gonna to wanna to be with you for a long time too. Um, for those that are already happily in a relationship, Scorpio, what's coming your way? This could be, uh, as we look at the Knight of Cups, this is a messenger, okay? So the messenger is bringing some type of news or information that's going to get you locked into something that you're going to invest in for 
months or years to come. This messenger is going to be different for all of you. A phone call, an email, could be having to do with money. Okay, some of you are dealing with like an agent or a professional, could be a recruiter, something here. Someone that has the decision to approve, deny, proceed. That could be the news that we see too. And you're like, okay, yeah, let's do business. Yeah, let's commit. Yeah, let's partner. Let's collaborate. Um, I'm also seeing some type of proposal. <laughs> okay, so proposal it could be romantically like, hey, do you want to be in a relationship? Do you want to get engaged? Do you want to get married? But this could also be a networking proposal like, hey, I propose this idea. What do you think about that? What do you think about, you know, doing this together? What do you think about investing in a home, in a business? What do you think about moving, relocating, right? Something, something here like, let's jump into this contract. There's some type of business proposal that Scorpios, you may find very valuable in landing, moving into the new year. Hold on, let me pull. I just like to see what kind of jumpers are finalizing your message here. Let's see, Scorpio, what else does Scorpio need to know? All right, so we have the tower. I'm looking, ooh, Seven of Pentacles coming in again. Okay, the tower, because this flung over by um, your Empress row, okay, Queen of Wands, Two of Wands, and Three of Cups. Don't be surprised, Scorpio, if you find yourself falling out with something that you've been familiar with. Again, I do feel like this may have to do with relationships. A fallout in your relationship, your friendship, your business ship, something here socially, you may feel like you, you've had a fallout. Or, again, you, you feel like maybe something has uh, a left or aborted, you know, the plan or your, your uh, original expectations. But this um, ejection, okay, is putting you in a path that you're meant to discover new energies, new Again, remember we we're saying that with the two of wands, it's a gateway. New plans, new thoughts, new directions, new position, new tactics. So some things, when they fall apart, they're meant to have us explore other alternatives, but also use our imagination or our mind to see what is beyond where we have been trapped. Okay, because if this is all we know, and we this is all we think there is, then we're not curious to know what is beyond. And I feel like the universe is pushing you out of your shell or pushing you out in certain situations that you may have been too afraid to explore or maybe you just did not, you were not aware. And you're meant to see something else in this time. You're meant to expand, grow, develop, okay? Come across something else. Expanding your horizon, expanding your life experience, expanding your social network, or social um, worth too. Seven of Pentacles, patience is coming to mind, being patient with the process, but also being patient with yourself, Scorpio. Give yourself grace, give yourself you know, time to, to, to grow, to heal, to move on, to flourish, to, to thrive. Something here is saying like, if you try to force something too soon, you can burn out or hurt yourself. Okay, sometimes when you grind 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 you don't have time to stop and smell the roses so life isn't all about work 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 grow 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 okay it's about okay pausing and enjoying what you've grown enjoying the path that you've gotten so far enjoying the present moment the company that you have um do you know the blessings that surround you something here is like be patient with yourself, be gentle. Give yourself credit for all that you are capable and that you are doing and what you're about to develop. Um, give yourself a pat on the back, Scorpio, of how far you've come and you've healed and you've, um, I would say like you've succeeded in. Hmm. So this was a very important message that a lot of you need to hear at this particular time. Oh, speaking of time, uh, that's what's coming to mind too. Spirit saying something like give yourself time or give it time. Something's like give it time, give it time. For some of you, this may hit you in a way where it resonates. It's like give it time, Scorpio. Give something time. 
could even be like give yourself time to get situated, to be known, to advance, to adjust. So I'll see you in the next reading. Until then, stay well and be blessed.